Hello, hello, it's Kitty. Uh, um, proud to be your thought organizer coming to you live from picturesque Atlanta, Canada, and I can see it. There's no fog today. Glory, hallelujah, and I hope there's no fog in your life today. And if there is, tell you what, either reach out to me and say there's fog or just wait till tomorrow and you know what, maybe with a good, with some good sleep, you'll be feeling very good with no fog. Who am I? I am Kitty Anders with Declutter the Brain. And what do I do? I help coaches, consultants, entrepreneurs, and future entrepreneurs to, hello Gordon, to eliminate their physical and mental clutter so that they can focus on attracting premium clients and making wonderful relationships, basically creating an amazing life for themselves, whatever that amazing life looks like. Uh, I do believe that, ah, uh, sorry, <laughs> I've got a few things going on in my brain, what a surprise. Uh, I do believe that physical clutter and lack of concentration and focus, that was a perfect example, are very closely related and that's why I have developed a step-by-step -step system that has enabled me and my clients to eliminate years of clutter without the overwhelm. Hey, who needs overwhelm? Life is overwhelming enough, right? Even the word overwhelm is overwhelming. Hmm. Yeah, I try not to use it very much. It just kind of brings you down, you know? Hello, thank you for joining. Um, and, 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 and I just want to make sure I didn't miss something. I do have over 20 years of experience in helping people get their surroundings under control and I can help you too. In fact, I heard from a gentleman this morning who lives in California and we met last week in Phoenix and we are going to jump on a call. Yes, I'm looking I'm looking forward I'm forward to this. His name is Mike. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we've got a Gordon Michaels here and we've got a Mike and Mike that we're going to be talking to. Question question, how would it feel for you to take immediate action on your clutter? Huh? Would do, do you think your productivity would would just blow, just go crazy? Would you feel more focused, and maybe just even more relaxed? Huh? Yeah, that could and that could be. And if you are coachable, if you are actually committed, I tell you what, you hold that thought, and we will give you your next steps to take in uh, about ten minutes. All right, um, Michael, I was just thinking about you and thank you for your message. I appreciate that. Whoa, this is going to be good. All right, this week we are talking about setting goals. We're still early enough in the year that uh, we're early enough in the year and yet we're far enough away from the January New Year's resolution kind of thing. Uh, nobody, yeah, those, those are destined to fail. That we can still, it, and with the lengthening days, where it's it's nice to think about goals, and that's what we're talking about this week is decluttering your goals in this setting. Because even setting a goal, actually, I've done polls of of clients or soon to be clients that I've asked, do you bother? Do you set goals? And this was in the Declutter the Brain Facebook group that I did this. And I was surprised. It was a good 60%. You might remember that, Gordon. A good 60% of people said, no, I don't bother. Oh, well, kind of why not? No, because I'm going, and I had a number of different questions. Because I'm afraid I'll fail or I've tried before. And these are, hi, Sarah. These are many reasons why people don't set um, decluttering goals. And don't, they, they, because they're afraid of failure or they have tried it before. So uh, we're trying to avoid that this week and just simplify it. Because it, it, because it can be, yeah, I'm sorry, overwhelming. All right, now many coaching programs will say, give yourself a five-year plan. And as I've said for the last couple of days, five years? I want a five-day plan. Thank you very much. I just, you know, on those days where you're feeling just busy, busy, busy in your brain and you're not quite sure what to start next. Thank, hello, thank you for joining. Uh, well, I submit for your approval that you start with a one-year plan. 
Now, doesn't that sound more manageable? Huh? Yeah, sounds more manageable than a five-year plan. Uh, overwhelm. Hello, thank you for joining. I am, you know, if you are even thinking about setting a goal, I'll tell you what, it, it, um, it's your body, it's your subconscious telling you, you need to, you're in a bit of a rut. All right, sorry to say, but that's it. it, it the nose knows, okay? Um, the, whether you believe in a higher power or just, just your subconscious, if you have that niggling feeling, trust the niggle. There is actually a pos podcast called Trust the Niggle, and I've been on that podcast. It was a very good one last year. Uh, so you're going to, so if you're going to trust that niggle, then what you need to do is make a decision to change. And that's what each and every one of my clients have done just simply by enrolling in my programs is they have made a decision. What is it? Made a decision to change. All right. And ah, then the thing you want to do is ask yourself why. Yeah, that you have a you have a strong why. I'm going to use Sarah here as a, as an example of uh, she decided to go on a health program about a year and a half ago, and she had a strong why. Her strong why was that she felt and she decided and she no longer wanted to feel like crap. All right, we have another male client who uh, decided to uh, do a massive decluttering project because it was going to improve his family relations. All right, so decide on your why, make a decision, decide why you want to do it, be flexible about this goal, okay? Because the goal may zig and the goal may zag in, in the next year or so. Now, visualizing, they tell us to visualize your goal. Oh, good Lord, they used to talk to me about vision boards. Can you see me sitting for hours browsing through magazines and carefully pasting them on a cork board? Come on. <laughs> Put an LOL in the comments if you, if, you, if you agree with my assessment of that. So a mentor of mine a couple years ago, yeah, yeah there we go, thanks Sarah. <laughs> um, he suggested just to, and I believe he's ADHD too, I know, I, yeah, he'd never admit it, but I'm sure of it. He suggested just getting one picture, all right? Um, Gordon, you may have a picture of a perfectly organized garage, for example, Sarah, craft room, um, studio, whatever, uh, and you can, you can tear this picture out of the magazine and put it up in a prominent place, or you can save it as a screensaver, which is what I did with the picture of one of the beautiful Canadian Rocky Mountains where I plan to move. So that is my goal and, get, and I see it first thing in the morning, 6.15 Atlantic time. Yeah, that's 5.15 for you Eastern timers. Okay. <laughs> All right. So just take one picture and put it somewhere prominent. Hmm? See how we're just taking the overwhelm out of it? All right, now you've, you have decided. Yesterday we talked about you have decided, but how? Um, what will I need? Oh, uh, yeah, what will I need? Okay, I'm gonna use myself as an example. What will I need? I will need money. I will need a steady source of income that, uh, that while I am in transit, moving is time consuming and it's expensive. All right, and and of course you you the business has to keep going while you are moving. So I will need a stash of money in behind me. Sarah for her glass studio. What's she going to need? She's going to need an appropriate space for it. So she is working on that. Same with and same with this other gentleman. He is doing the same thing. Um, he's saying, okay, what do I need? All right, now today. It is, how will I get what I need? We'll come back to me. Uh, we're gonna go in round robin here. How will I get what I need? All right, well, I am going to, uh, that being more money. All right, well, I'm going to book myself for more speaking opportunities so that people, I can spread the decluttering word of declutter the, the space and the brain. Uh, I'll um, 
make it a point to meet more people that I, hello, thank you for joining, that we can benefit each other, things like that. Now Sarah, what she's doing is she is working tirelessly on her new space to make it so that she can make that new studio a success. And the other gentleman, he's a, he, he is moving a little bit more slowly on it because he wants, he wants it to be right at the end. So he's taking his time. Do you see what I mean? Everybody has their different ways. Now, how will you get what you need? Break it into minutia. Say, for example, again, Sarah, uh, Sarah started breaking it down, breaking it down. Okay, so she's got her new space that she is putting together. All right, so what is she going to need? She has to sand the walls down, so she needs putty. She needs paint. She needs, uh, Sarah, I don't know what else you need. Um, <laughs> uh, but those are a couple of examples. Do you see what I mean about breaking it down into the smallest things? She needs a putty knife. She needs a hat, so uh, she needs a sander. She needs a hat and protective clothing. All of these little details are, uh, that's, uh, this is what I mean by breaking it down into the smallest minutia. Now, you could say, well, Kitty, that's way too much information. No, no. I submit to you that the more information you have, preferably written on paper, it takes away the doubts in your mind. I'll say that again. It takes away the doubts in your mind. It makes you feel more in control. Again, makes you feel more in control. Hello, hello, Pam. <laughs> ah, yes, and Pam is breaking things into minutia as well. Speaking of Pam, uh, actually, we're, we're done on the content for today. I'm going to launch right into Pam here. Pam and I, Pam is my uh, distinguished co-host for our decluttering workshops every Friday at 12, uh, 12 noon Eastern. And tomorrow we are talking, we're, we will be talking about decluttering your goals. The link for, um, the link for the Facebook, for the Facebook uh, group is down below. So, Get off the hamster wheel of clutter. If you want to 2x your life without being distracted by your clutter, if you want to, if you want your, just want your clutter gone and your mental clarity back, hmm, yes, maybe? All right, and if you are an action taker who is committed to clearing your space and your brain so that you can create that amazing life we talked about earlier, hmm, okay, so, you're, you're uh, joining the Facebook group. Not only do you have me and Pam on Fridays, but we have weekend warrior challenges. We have activities through the week. It, um, it, uh, wow. And I'm not doing all that activity. Jen Wyatt is uh, a massive contributor. <laughs> so anyway, come and join us. The link is down below. Number two. What is step number two, you ask? On your decluttering journey, you want to scroll down even further and download your seven easy steps to conquer your clutter, uh, your physical and mental clutter. It comes with short little videos from me so that you don't feel alone on your journey. And yeah, keeps um, once you get decluttered, we aim to keep you that way, don't we guys? All right, and while you are there downloading your PDF, just hit the book a call button and we will chat for probably twice. I have decided I'm changing things around a little bit and we will chat. The first one will not be a sales call. I'm going to find out what you need, how your what your clutter is really costing you in your health, your wealth, your relationships. I will give you a plan that you will see right now results, and then we can talk about if we should talk about be, uh, working together. All right, because I'm not cheap, but I am very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, thank you for watching for the last few few minutes. And remember, now that you have decided to organize your mindset and eliminate your chaos, just click those links and change your life today. Don't wait. All right, tomorrow, uh, who are you going to call? Yeah. All right, take care. Bye for now.